Hey guys, welcome back to my uh, over 21 of age decluttering. Yeah, I um, I do drink. I like, you know, like the taste of alcohol. I don't drink. Like I, my parents came home every night and had a drink, a cocktail. I don't do that. Um, I like I'm more of a social drinker. So if I'm out having dinner or somewhere, I usually have a drink or friends come over. My favorite thing is Martini and Rossi, Osti Spumani with a little bit of cream de cassis. Those are my favorite. Um, we Honestly, we started drinking this when we were 15 back in the day. And uh, yeah, so it's been my drug of choice for a long time. So I tend to like sweet, bubbly things. But here we are. I found a couple of sparkling waters. Never ends. This is pineapple. And this is blueberry lemon. They both should have been drank at the end of January. So I'm going to go ahead and chill them and try them and see if I like the taste or not. Uh, let's see. Roses grenadine syrup, right? Wasn't that what they put in Shirley Temple's? This my mom must have had for something she wanted to do. So I'm not sure. Um, can go in tequila sunrise, roses sunset, roses and ice cream. Let's try it. Are you okay, Claire? McClara's up. She's not feeling that good. She um, has a little sinus infection. Okay. Definitely Shirley Temple. It's super sweet, yummy. I'm not sure what kind of, um, what the flavor is. That's sad. It's high fructose corn syrup. Red 40 and natural and artificial flavors, blue one. I don't think there's ever seen a fruit in its life. And this is <clears throat> aromatic cocktail bitters. Cannot pronounce that name. Now, why do you need bitters? Um, I don't know. I'll have to Google that and see. Because anytime I want to make a new drink, I just go back to my Aussie. Okay, so I have that. <clears throat> and now I have these little ones. And these I think I usually got for cooking. Fanny's Irish cream liqueur. Those were some uh, Irish cream, or, or it was going to be Bailey's brownies. So I didn't make. Grand Marnier. My mom used to make a really good Grand Marnier cake. Strawberries and cream. And this one's Bailey's. Um, I don't know. Where am I going to put that in? A cake, maybe? Jim Beam, apple, and vanilla. Now, these were for, they're bourbon, right? For making pig candy. You know, you take bacon and you um, do brown sugar or whatever you want. And you add, you soak it in bourbon. I haven't done that in a while. That is, woo, that is good. Some good stuff. I have two of these. Caribbean rum. 100% sure I was going to make something. And then Fireball, Cinnamon Whiskey. That just sounded good maybe in some hot chocolate. Didn't open it. Let's see. Are you allowed to drink on YouTube? Wow. That's yummy. Okay, I know I'm not a connoisseur and I don't know the difference between things other than what I like and what I don't like. So no comments. My brother would probably be appalled. So here we go, the Trader Joe's Sparkling Clementine, yum. That will be drank, I love that stuff. Okay, so I have brandy, E&J brandy. It had to be for a recipe. I don't think my mom mate got this. So I don't know the difference in brandies. E&J was my mom, she's Elizabeth Johnson. <laughs> and, okay, I'm gonna put you there. Here's another mixer. Strawberry colada. I think one of my friends with Coco Real, I think one of my friends brought this over. Um, I don't know. No, my mom, my mom bought this. 2016. Does that go bad? I mean, it's really, uh, it does have some strawberry puree from concentrate, but a bunch of everything else is just chemicals. I don't know. Okay. 
Bacardi. My mom loved a rum and coke. My dad loved a rum and coke. And I got this one, Puerto Rican rum, for a recipe. Don't remember what it was, but yeah, this would have been my mom's. So, it's you know, I don't mind having like one of those. Vodka. Um, that was her drink of choice towards the end was vodka. The screwdriver, that's always a good one. All right, let's go into red wine. Cabernet Sauvignon, 2017, Charles Shaw. So I don't know much about wines. I know sometimes you need wine to cook. Uh, Vinho Verde Rosé Gazilla. Someone must have given me this. Again, do these things go bad if they're not opened? I mean, doesn't it kind of get better? It's Portugal. I have no idea where that came from. Sweet Red Blend. I probably bought that. Anything sweet. I love Barefoot Park. I'm not, like I said, they're reasonably priced. And um, Barefoot Most Awarded Wine Brand. See, it's not there you go. Uh, and then I thought I had more wine. I must've been giving it away. Uh, this is a Rosé Stricker. Somebody gave me this. It's an Australian Rosé. So that's not too bad. And then my mixer. So like I said, Cream de Cassis, though my one friend thinks this is horrible. There's a better, much more expensive one, but you guys, it is. And sometimes when I have like strawberries or blackberries or something, I just put like a tablespoon of that on it. Triple sec. That kid, I don't know. Triple sec. It's a liqueur, right? Same brand, peach tree schnapps. This, there's a, a drink called like a Ocean City Crush or something. And I know that was for that. I think it was that vodka orange juice and something else. But I'm not sure what I wanted peach tree schnapps. I think somebody bought Fuzzy Nabel. Hmm. My mom must have. Now, limoncello in me. I usually, I used to keep it in the fr freezer and then I'd come home in the winter and I'd have like that much, just a taste, just a taste. And it felt like liquid sunshine. So this may be in my tangerine juice. There's not much left, so I don't know. I definitely need a new bottle. Anyone out there want to get me some limoncello? Yum. That's probably my favorite liqueur. Deep Eddy Orange Vodka. Again, I'm sure I thought this was for um that, that drink. The Ocean City Crush. Okay, so now we have, this is um, Provence Rosé 2012 Whispering Angel. So it's not sparkling. I, well, I don't know. Anyway, I have no idea. First press Ruby Red. So um, that's some kind of wine, right? I guess a rosé. Don't know. Um, Black Joe coffee liqueur. Huh, it was distilled in Rockville, which is down in a different county. Smells good. Black Joe coffee liqueur. Locally made, pretty label. And then I have not one, but two things of Kahlua. Did this all. Kahlua and Kahlua. So I'll probably give the big one to my nephew. I mean, I like it in a little bit of hot chocolate or coffee or something. I'm not sure if he wants it or not, but. And Prosecco by uh, D. Melmondo. Somebody must give me this. I haven't even drunk that much and I'm banging my head. Um, so champagne brute Corbel. I don't like brute champagne. Well, if you mix it, I guess, right? And then two of my martini and Rossi. 
I have one in the refrigerator and I have probably two in my garage. So I have four, maybe three in my garage. Yeah. Then let's see. We have this a little accoutrement my mom got. This kind of, I think she gave these as gifts one year from QVC. So I don't know, just something about a rabbit wine preserver vacuum pump with two stoppers. Okay. Maybe that'd be good for my champagne. I can't usually hit a glass of champagne, you know, drink a whole bottle. So this thing, people insist on giving me these things. So a corkscrew and I guess a wine stopper, right? So anyway, and then whenever someone, oops, excuse me, oh my goodness, it was caught. If someone, sorry, that's a mess, gives me a bag of wine or something, you know, I usually keep the thing. So I keep them so I know where they're at with the uh, Dear Santa, please bring wine. I mean, my mom loved to give alcohol as Christmas gifts. That was her big thing, go to the liquor store and just buy, buy different things. That was, you know, her generation liked to do stuff like that. So that's the majority of it. I do have a few things in my garage that I'm gonna taste test. I just, you know, I don't know. Being home all the time, I don't know if it's a good time for me to be drinking. But I do have, I bought, um, I get my friend wine from the my local liquor store, liquor store, my older friend, and she always says, buy something for yourself. So I got some sparkling uh, pink Moscato and something Sophia, um, Co Sophia Coppola, is it Coppola? I can't think of her name, the director, actress. Okay. Lost in Translation, that was her movie. I can remember that. And I got this little chiller thing. So I will be taste testing those at the appropriate times. But yeah, so I'm gonna let a few of this go. I mean, I guess I should Google and see the sweet red blend. I mean, does that go bad? Should you drink it in a certain time? Also at my friend's pool house, I must have five things there that people have given me. And I'm gonna be there tomorrow, so maybe I should pull those and let him have them. But keep something, you know, for cooking. I, I can't, I just don't see myself sitting down having red wine. Unless someone brings it and it's really good. So, yeah. Anyway, I guess it's not as bad. I've been giving stuff away. And I have a cabinet I put it in. So, yeah. Anyway, that is my alcohol liquor extravaganza. And, uh, yeah. What do you have that you're ignoring? Or what's your favorite thing to drink? What should I try? What is there anything here that I have that I can make a really cool drink to try? Let me know. Thank you for watching. Hey, it's me. I knew something was wrong. This is what I just reviewed, that stuff right there. And I remembered I had some sitting on top of my cabinet. I felt like that wasn't enough alcohol that I had wine and yeah. Now this is the rest of it, minus what's in my garage and in my refrigerator. Okay, round two. Part two. So I was thinking to myself, did you drink all that other stuff? What? I, it's like I, you know, my brain's a little off. I, I call it quarantine brain, but I'm like, what? Did you put it somewhere? And then I looked over to my cabinet and there was tons of it there. I was like, okay, yeah, that makes sense. So on we go to the declutter. So this is the cassis that my friend says is the best. And I should get rid of that other stuff. So it's a more expensive, fancy see so I'll have to remember maybe to drink this up first but I'm happy with the cheap stuff and this she gave me was the best lemoncello lazzaroni lemoncello product of Italy so that I kept because I want to now I can take a picture and order that and have that in the pool this summer oh my god liquid sunshine now this is epiphany small batch vodka um, 80 proof. My um, niece's old boyfriend and friend of my nephew has a distillery called McClintock. And I don't know if I bought it to give it to him or I bought it to have. So I might keep this and give him the other vodka. I don't know. Not that I have it very often, but it's a beautiful. They're doing really well. So, and I don't know if they ship or anything, but in Maryland, McClintock Distilleries. Uh Di Serrano Amaretto. Someone gave me this. So I know it would be, you know, I love almond stuff. 
Mmm, mmm, that smells good. I mean, they're for cooking, but I don't know. I might find a little cocktail to put that in. Tequila, 1800. My friend got me this. See, what I just need is a little bit. So what could I put this in something else and then give my nephew the rest? I'll have to, I mean, I will probably die an old woman and this will like not be halfway done. My friend loves tequila. I like, um, I like margaritas. Okay, Bailey's Almond Almond Milk Liqueur. Again, very smooth. Hot chocolate? I love a white Russian. I do, oh my God. Another tequila. So that's three bottles of tequila. Oh, hazelnut. I don't know. Saint Germain. I bought this and I can't imagine why I did now. Honestly, what was I thinking? Um, I don't know what the flavor of this is. It's a beautiful bottle. Yeah, I should try to decant it and give some to my nephew. Look at the cool little, you see that? My lighting's terrible. I don't know, I must have been for a recipe. I don't know, I'm just drinking like new cocktails. So Jim Beam Honey, this is what now, all this is using on bacon and maybe I had like a shot here and there because I kind of liked it. My dad loved bourbon. Um, he's bourbon and Coke or vodka and Coke. My dad, my brother remembers him as Bacardi and Coke, but my dad, you know, there's nine years between us, was a bourbon man. This, mm. Can you, I can't even, all by myself. Smirnoff orange vodka. This had to be my mother's because there's no way I went through a whole thing of vodka. So now we're on to wines. This is pink rosé. Relax. Right? Be sultry sangria. I must have bought that because I love sangria. In the summer, by the pool, with some oranges and strawberries in it. Oh, my God. Be luscious. Be sensuous. Be sultry. This helps you do all that. <laughs> Very simple label. And here's like a little mixer I have. Love yourself. Someone gave this to me. Never used it. But, you know, I'll get in my drinks and woo, woo. Maybe just, I think I've seen people make cocktails. They're pretty. Okay, now I bought these. I was at a, it's called Chartreuse and Company. It's like a outdoor barn sale situation. And they had um, a wine test tasting from these Maryland vineyards. So it's low vineyards, Maryland, Vival, Vivaldi, Vidal, Blanc, and Black Current. Oh my God, the taste test. So I bought wine and I bought it the next time they had them. So maybe I should open one. Okay, 216 Old Soul Pinot Noir. So I have a Pinot Noir. That's like a really dark red wine, I think, is it? But look how pretty that is, Old Soul. There's a, again, a store called Rodman's like down for me. I mean, it's a good 45 minutes away, but they have most unusual wines and it's just hard. Another Pinot Noir. I don't think I need two. Santa Barbara, 2014. A Cal uh, California Merlot, Gur Murphy Good. Now, these don't go bad, right? I don't know. Because I know people get older vintages, right? That's a thing. Simi, Alexander Valley Soma, Cabernet Sauvignon, 2015. So this is Vino Verde. My friend gave me this. Santola, a white wine. Maryland is for crap. I know because they do these you know um, when you do that it's because YouTube will let you use that as a, a thing I'll do that's why gives you a thumbnail Pinot Gris 2017 California Pinot Gris y'all want to come over to my house 
We can get straws and sip under our mask. I got some making up to do here. La Crema Son Soma Sonoma Coast 2016 a Chardonnay. Maybe I'll do a taste test, but I would not want to open everything if I'm not going to drink it. Stella Rosa, Stella Peach, semi sweet. It wants something, a tasting wine. It's world champion out of Italy. A slow alcohol grape wine, especially with natural peach flavors. You guys. And this, last not least, hi, little Clara. Um, Martinelli, so let me give you, I'll try to grab my cat. She's going to be mad. Oh, there she is. Say hi, Clara. Everyone wants to say hi to you. You're such a cutie. She's got a stuffed head. And I need to clean the humidifier. I've been a bad mother. And this is Martinelli's Sparkling Apple Cranberry. I like to have this for those who don't drink or iced tea or the youngins that might be around. But I always got something interesting going on. So that um, I think that's good till this year. Okay. I still, I'm not kidding you. I have at least two bottles of champagne in my garage, one in my refrigerator. I might have, no, I have two in my refrigerator. And so when I do my refrigerator clear out, I'll show those. A handful of little things to try. So, yeah. And I thought for those of you who stuck around to the end, and I'll put this on my uh, Instagram, but I wanted to, I'm gonna cry, my mama. This is one of my favorite pictures of her. We were at the Cracker Barrel. No, Golden Corral. She loved their breakfast. She loved breakfast. And um, I don't know. It's hard. Anyway, and this is my brother's mother. When he thinks of his mom in pictures, he's always looking for these old pictures. Probably before I was born. Right? She's probably 75 in that one. But she was a beauty. Look at her and my dad. I just love this way my dad's looking at her. So, and this is probably in Grand Forks, North Dakota. Probably before I was born, maybe. I don't know. Somewhere around that. I don't know. My brother would know. But yeah. So yeah, that's my mama. I'm going to go. I still can't believe she's not here. I really, I, I, when does that sink in and become like a reality? I just, I hate it. But you know, we live together most of my life. So, you know, it's huge adjustment. Anyway, no crying. Going to go have some alcohol. I have myself a little cocktail at cocktail time. But yeah. Thank you guys. And um, I think this is mostly it now, other than what's in my garage, but I'm gonna do a garage clearing out of the food-ish stuff. I have major garage clearing out, you guys. And like I said, my stuff's good. I have good stuff. It's not easy to get rid of. It's easy to get rid of stuff that, eh, but I don't have any. Doesn't make it in my house. It's gotta be good. Oh, okay. Thank you guys. Comment again, your favorite cocktail, your favorite wine. What should I try? Um, obviously need to do more drinking by the pool this summer <laughs> not i'm not up to par but thank you guys so much you mean a lot to me and it's just i love your comments i appreciate it so much